Hello friends. Today I would like to chat about minimum wage and uh, what's happening in Arizona right now in 2019. So Arizona is instituting a new law, a new state level law, uh, having to do with min the minimum amount of money that a human being may pay another human being to work for them. And this is meant to make everyone wealthier, except for the greedy capitalist business owners who are, of course, already making hundreds of million dollars per moment, uh, and they, they can do just fine without it. That's kind of the thinking behind this law. However, uh, I'm just suggesting for those of you that haven't read a bunch of books on economics and, and human nature, sociology, and just kind of how, how things work in, in real world, um, I thought I would share uh, some, some basics of, of how this all works. So let's say, I don't know what minimum wage was the national level, but let's say $7.50 uh, was the original minimum wage. And of course, I believe, and most reasonable economists that have, have studied things and care about poor people will say that there should not be a minimum wage. And we could talk about that another time. But let's say that the, the current minimum wage is $7.50 per hour. That means that as an employer, I may not hire anyone to do any work and pay them for less than $7.50 an hour, right? How could this be a problem? Let's just take an example of mowing my lawn. Let's say that it takes me one hour to mow my lawn. And I think about that and I think, you know, uh, my time is worth $7.50 an hour. So if I could find someone else to mow the lawn and only pay them $5, then I come out $2.50 a head. So why, why wouldn't I want to do that? Well, I can't. That would be illegal to hire someone to mow the lawn and only pay them $5. In a little bit more close to me real world example, I'm inventing a product and I'm looking for manufacturers for it. And this particular item is just going to require a tiny factory. We, let's not call it a factory. Let's call it a kitchen table in someone's apartment to start out with. And I would like to be able to pay, it would be worth it to me, to have a certain number of units produced each hour. So let's say I'm willing to pay $1 per unit produced and six units can be produced in an hour, the, the average person. Some people will take longer if they're slower, some people can get more done, but that would be the average. If all I'm willing to pay, because I look at what it's going to cost me to market this thing, to ship it, to pay for the sales, for the in-between company to handle the credit card payments and all these other things, I look at it and I say, the only way that I can make this worth my effort to do it and make a good profit on it that makes it worth me getting out of bed in the morning and not going to work for someone else and bringing this product to market, the only thing that would make it worth it is if I could pay a maximum of $1 per unit to get that made. As things currently stand, I can't hire someone in Arizona for $6 an hour to get that done. I must now pay them, I believe it's $10 an hour. That's ludicrous. So what does this mean for, let's say, Bill? Bill is a person who does not have a lot of uh, skills, advanced technical skills, maybe isn't all that bright, just starting out in life and is trying to, to make his way. And he has gone to places, he, he looks crummy, he doesn't speak well, so he's not even getting hired by McDonald's for seven fifty dollars an hour or 10 bucks an hour. The only thing that Bill can do to survive is either be a beggar on the street or cheat, work under the table. Bill has no, or welfare, he can accept welfare from the government. What a horrible, humiliating thing. Let's say that Bill have, has enough self-respect to say, no, I'm willing to work. And I don't, six bucks an hour is rough, but it's sure better than nothing. I can feel good about myself. Shepard, I would love to make your widgets for you for six of them per hour. And maybe as I go along, I'll get faster and be able to do 12 of them in an hour. And, and if you're paying me per widget, then I'll make more. But I wouldn't be allowed to start him out as, at an hourly rate. Now, maybe I could pay him per widget, which is what I'm going to need to do. But guess where I'm not going to go to find this person? I'm not going to go find Bill because Bill is in Arizona. And there's a minimum that I have to pay him. I'm going to go to some state that doesn't have that ridiculous fascist requirement. Who does this hurt? It hurts me. It hurts you, the person that might buy my widget eventually. It hurts the U.S. Postal Service, which is how I was going to mail my widgets. It hurts the in-between company that processes credit card payments. It hurts Bill. 
Bill really wants my money, but I'm not allowed to pay it to him because of a minimum wage law. This is just one example, and we can examine a lot more in future videos if you're interested. Shoot a private message to me, and we'll cover more of this. But this is just kind of an intro. Are there parts of this that, that I'm incorrect about? Is, is this a mistake that I'm making? Let me know, because before too long, I'm going to release more videos continuing uh, based on the premise uh, that I've already put forth, some of the things that I've said now. So if they're wrong, catch me now before I build upon them. Thanks for listening, and please do subscribe down below.